All right, welcome back to the garage for episode three of this build series. Today we're gonna to be working on the rear subframe. What I have here is a set of subframe bushings, the reinforcing plates, sway bar, reinforcing tabs, and diff bushings. All right, under the car here, I can show you what's going on. My plan is to drop the sway bar, disconnect the arms from this location, disconnect the axles, and then we should be able to drop the subframe and diff down as one unit. Alright, what I'm just noticing is that these bolts are not going to come out because they're going to contact the diff, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the diff. Alright, now we're ready to drop the diff. I've got my axle zip tied up out of the way so I don't get snagged on anything. Got my speed sensor unplugged, and then I'm gonna prop the diff up with my knee while I take out these last two bolts, and then we'll drop it out. Okay, one out. Here it goes. Take a quick break before we actually got to deal with this. All right, taking the diff out was super easy. Come on, man. That's too easy. Next is these four bolts right here. All right, there's nothing left holding in the subframe but the four attaching bolts, so we'll take those out and this bad boy will be on the ground. That's not good.
right, we have the subframe out, and now we can take a look at the mounts. And surprisingly, they are in very good shape. No cracks that I can see. Very surprising for a 92. So next thing to do is grind off all the paint. Alright, we've got the four mounting areas ground back to bare metal. Looking pretty good. And then we'll use some bolts to hold the plates up while we weld them in. Alright, got the rear plates up with some bolts. And the plan is to fill in these two holes and then do maybe four stitch welds. Don't want to go too crazy, I'm kind of worried about burning through. I think that should be plenty to hold it in. What's more important is the extra material. Not super important about the uh, welds holding it in. Alright, got the first plate in, doesn't look too bad. I'm starting to get the hang of the welding, so the rest of the three should look better. But this ought to do. Alright, got this second one in, done and dusted. Looking pretty good. Time to move on to the front mounts. So for these, there's three plugs to weld. And I'm probably not going to do any welding on the back side because gas tank's right there. I got a wet rag and just a little bead on the front side, and we'll call it good. All right, we've got all four plates welded in. Nothing left to do but to paint it up. Alright, here's one last look all painted up. Looks pretty dang good. Alright, this will conclude part three of this build series. I'm pretty excited to have the reinforcement plates bolted in. I'm going to take the subframe and diff back to my house so I can use the press to remove the bushings. And then we will keep trucking along from there. So stay tuned for part four. And I will see you guys later.